Hello. Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Rasu Chakma, postgraduate student, <coughs> Department of Radio Diagnosis, Agarpala Government Medical College, NGP Pan Hospital. Today, I am going to present a scientific paper on the topic of MRI study of lumbar canal stenosis by morphological grading and technical set measurement, a cross-sectional study. My, my moderator is Dr. Rasin, the professor in HOD, Agarpala Government Medical College, Department of Radio Diagnosis. I am going to the introduction of the study that the lumbar canal stenosis is a condition in which the spinal canal narrows to the point at which, the, which it can exert a pressure on the nerves that travel through the spine. The etiology is characterized in the congenital developmental and acquired causes. It tends to affect the patient at the younger age from the 30 to 50 years old. Developmental canal stenosis is a condition in which there is a narrow by the spinal bone spinal canal, possibly, possibly defect in the normal developmental process. In degenerative stenosis, there is a diminished space available for the neural and the muscular elements in the lumbar spine, secondary to the degenerative changes in the spinal canal. Symptoms of stenosis include the pain in the groin, hips, and the back of the numbness or weakness in the legs, and the back in, in severe cases associated with the bowel dysfunction and the severe uh, sexual dysfunction. Magnetic resonance imaging is the investigation of the transition in the evaluation of the patient with the symptoms related to the lumbar central canal stenosis. Hence, the present study aims to assess the lumbar canal stenosis <coughs> by morphological grading and tackle sac measurement. My, in this study, aims and objective is to assess the morphological grade of tackle sac in lumbar central canal stenosis on MRI. Materials and matters time of study is the cross sectional study, due resource study is the one year place of study, the department of radio diagnosis, as in CNGV Point Hospital. Total number of cases in this, case, in this <coughs> study is the 100. Inclusion criteria. Is the patient with the age more than 20 years or 20 years and the patient with the symptoms related to the spine were included in this study? Exclusion criteria is the patient with spinal tumor, spinal fracture, spinal postoperative cases were excluded, heart pacemaker and, and the other metal uh, implant patient were uh, also excluded from the study. In this study, we have collected the 100 random cases who are clinically suspected um, to be a heading canal stenosis. Relevant clinical data were noted for the case facts from the case facts. The obtained data were analyzed with a simple Mm, the script is statistic and we are represented in the form of table and chart. Morphological grading is according to the <coughs> study that is the SKS C at all grading system that is depend on the visual and morphological grading mm, which, is, uh, which is categorized into the grade, grade 1 to grade 4. Grade 1 is a decrease of anterior CSF space is a present between rootless, grade 2 is a loss of anterior CSF space still see as a present between two tools and they can be individualized. Grade 3 is a complete occultation of the CSF space and rootless and clamped nerve nodes. Epidural fat can be normally delineated. Grade 4 is the complete occultation of the CSF and the epidural fat cannot, cannot be delineated in the grade 4. And the results and the indices started during the period of 24 months. The out of 100%, 46% were the males and the 50% were the females. And the age of the patient ranges from the 20 years to 78 years. And the maximum of the 26% of the cases were in the age group of 36 to 45 years, followed by the 25% of the age group was the 46 to 55 years. Now, SD, here I am displaying the age distribution table that is the equity to the age of 20 to 25, 26, 25, 36, 45, 46 to 55, 56 to 60, 66 to 75, and the more than 75. And the most, most <coughs> number of the patients is found, from, found on the 36 to 45 of the age group. And the last number was found on the more than 75 years of age. And the, grid, and the result of the grade according to the morphological, morphological grade, the finding was the 14% patient was a grade 1 and the grade 2 was the 46% was the most, most common grade 2 was the 36% and grade, grade 2 was the 4%. And uh, I'm showing the symptomatic pie chart which is the most common one is the back pain as the second one is the groin pain and, the, and the followed by the numbness and weakness. And contributing factors here is the degeneration, spondylolisthesis, passive joint, arthropathy, and uh, ligament of labrum hypertrophy. Most common is the degeneration. The 96 percent was the most <coughs> top patient found here, and the third is spondylolisthesis, the second, and the third, third is the passive joint arthropathy, followed by the ligament of labrum hypertrophy. And uh, here I am displaying the according to the morphological grade, grade one is uh, at the level of the L4 L5, where CSF space is reduced, where CSF can be delineated and the root, uh, no clamping of the nut roots and the no <coughs> and the delineation of the epidural fat can be seen here in grade one. In grade two, there is a, a the obstruction of the obstruction of the CSF space, but uh, epidural fat can be delineated. In grade three, there is a complete obstruction of the CSF space, 
and along with, along with here in this images we can see that ligament plebum, ligament plebum hypertrophy and then here we can see the clumping of the nerve floors and epidural fat partially can be delineated and the last one, last grade, last more physical grade was the grade 4 who is at the level of the alpha, alpha, alpha level here is the complete obstruction of the nerve uh, CSLV space and the epidural fat cannot be delineated in this grade and the discussion in our study, quality to image finding was estimated to the lumbar spine, which classified into specific uh, causes include the honey, the honey, the honey, the honey, the hypertrophy, and the ligament of the plebum hypertrophy, and the joint atrophy. In this study, morphological grade 2 was the most, most common, as I already discussed in the table, and the 46%, 46%, and the followed by the grade 3, 36%, grade 1, 14%, and the lowest one is the lowest <coughs> common, this one is the grade 4, which is 4%. In this study, out of 100 cases, most predominant contributing factor was the degeneration, 96%, as already discussed. Spinal stresses is the 34%, and the joint atrophy was the 23%, the other was the 16%. In this study, 80% of the patient complaining of back pain, 30% of the interview, coordination, 40% has the thinning and numbness, and 20% has the mixed symptoms. In our study, most common affected age group was the above 40 years of age. As our study is the hospital based study, not a population based study, it may not be accurate indicator of the incidence of the different study done for lumbar cancer this by morphological grading. As we know, the MRI is the superior preferred modality for the assessment of the symptomatic studies as it provides superior soft tissue resolution and not ruthless can be assessed with greater resolution. I will come to the conclusion now. The morphological grade of the technical sac has a significant correlation with the canal measurement as described in the present study. Traditional analysis of the lumbar central canal stenosis by canal diameter and the cross sectional study areas that are time consuming and the operator dependent. As morphological grade of the technical sac helps in the quick assessment of the severity of the lumbar canal stenosis. Hence, the morphological grading system helps the radiologist in rapid and reliable determination of lumbar canal stenosis in MRI. And the references here I have given, I have provided the seven numbers of the references, so you can go through. Thank you.